All right, back for another review. The Kell Hounds. Look at that glare, motherfucker. Too much glare. Too much glare. Stop. Yeah, my lighting in my room sucks. I'm still building that other room. But the Kell Hound box is not a bad box. Um, the cards for the Alpha Strike are all real nice, like always. You know, they don't, they don't ever fuck that up. Let's talk about the Night Sky. I like this mech. I thought it was the mech that was on the cover of the uh, era book, but it wasn't. It's a, it's another mech that has like that same kind of arm, where the axe is like built into it. <clears throat> I'm really looking forward to this kind of stuff. Um, I can't think of the era book's name. It's like I think 3058. It's like one or two books after the clan invasion. Uh, pretty much, they have a bunch of guys with axes on their arms. There's at least two of them I know. There's a, a mech that has like lances and I think one with like a ball and chain, like a mace, and then dudes with like uh, spikes on their legs. So we might see some of that like close combat action coming more. But really cool mech. The Griffin, we've had this before. It's another repeat. Decent all around mech to have. Um, do we need another Griffin? why not all the models do look really good though got that big shoulder plate there to just in case you get hit in that missile pod you don't fucking die it's like why would you put all that ammunition next to your cockpit very very dangerous but um this box is pretty solid i wish they would come with like two new mechs rather than just um one new one but you know you get what you get the Wolfhound. Wolfhound's another solid uh, mech. I like the Wolfhound. It's one of the few mechs that have the um, reverse back laser, rear or rear facing lasers, reverse lasers. <laughs> uh, like putting putting weapons on the backs of mech, like for to shoot from behind. It's like you can't fucking see the person you're trying to shoot at, let alone, you know, what's one little laser going to do? Probably not much. Really not much. It's a cool concept. There's some other mechs that have, like, rear-facing uh, weapons, but they're few in between. I know there's a Mad Cat that has missile launchers. Now, here's the real um, pick of the box, the Crusader. Again, another mech that we've already had. But the plume, so beautiful. The jump jets, this is what you're getting the box for. Well, that and the new mech, everybody else is this doubles. This is the little rock thing that it comes with. So if you don't want to put them on the jump jets, it looks weak as fuck, um, in my opinion. <clears throat> it's like he's just taking a step and he's on his tippy toes, you'll see in a minute. The pose isn't too great on him. I wish his arms were probably like, like have one of his arms like in a ready to punch you in the face kind of pose, because that's what it looks like he's trying to do. Uh, it, without the jump jets, it's just not that great. Like he's on his tippy toe right there. Ugh. But in my opinion, the jump jets is the way to go, and it goes in so easy, simple. You can't screw it up. It looks really good. The um, the rocket pack or jump pack on his back is nice to scale because it looks like you would take huge engines to move something that big. I had a problem getting it on. The, like this is the only one too that the uh, the pegs were hard to get in, and they only definitely only fit one way. But it was like you had to push that bitch down. I just wish one of his arms were a little higher up, like he's ready to come down and hit you in the face. Um, he's got those like a uh, big O anime hands, but I like his scale. I like his size. I like that they're doing a lot of the um, bigger mechs with jump, with jump capabilities. <clears throat> I'd like to see some light mechs too. Like shit, do some light dudes. But I recommend this box. It's really good overall. The new mech is really good. The Wolfhound I like, and the uh, jump jump jet looks uh, great. I got another review coming of the Barnes & Noble's box set. It's probably my favorite, but um, hopefully I'll get it out the same day. All right, take care. Bye-bye.